What's up, Scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and I'm back. I took a little break over July and August, not because I wanted to, but uh, as I posted on Insta the other day, sickness has just gone through my whole fam, including me. The kids have had it twice, and I just haven't felt well. Uh, so I'm back to filming, and my voice is almost back to normal, so I could record some voiceovers again for you. I am up with a 12 by 12 layout today and this layout is very label heavy. Uh, there's a whole lot of label love going on in here and so I thought I'd show you the ways that I like to use labels and uh, where I like to get them from. So I'm going through my stash of cards and these are from various places here, there and everywhere and I'm glad that I found that uh, darker blue card because I think it just really helped bring out the blue in the top right hand color of um, the photo. So these photos are from I think about this time last year roundabouts maybe a bit earlier. Uh, so we're in the middle of winter and I met up with uh, some of my closest friends from high school and we went down to Sydney and did an escape room for the first time. Have you ever done one? Is it your cup of tea? Is it your jam? Or is it not something that you would be interested in doing? Uh, I absolutely loved it. It's the first time we did where I've ever done one. Uh, poor Aaron had to stay at home. He wasn't able to come because Archie was sick. And um, Archie was meant to be looked after by his grandmother. But because he was sick, Aaron had to stay home with him, which was a real shame because it was really fun to to do and uh, I think I've said in previous videos we don't get to get together um, with our friends very often so because we all live several hours and in some of us in different uh, states <laughs> uh, so we don't get to see each other a lot and it was just a really fun adventure to do which I'll I'll talk about when we get to it but first this I kind of refer to as a label filler card so usually with my filler cards it's got some sort of pretty embellishment and some tiny words or something but sometimes I like to go all out and add lots of labels and tiny words and just kind of highlight the shape of the labels I know that sounds silly but I lately I've really been loving stacking lots of rectangles on top of each other. It's just something about the design of it that I'm enjoying. Uh, and so it, I really liked having the contrast between the white label with the bold colored outline compared to this other label that was more like a, a ticket uh, and then added some puffy stars there as well because, you know, I love a puffy sticker and I can't avoid using them. <laughs> if they're in my stash, they get used pretty quickly. So this next one, I was pregnant with Violet at the time and I had fully entered nesting mode, which to be honest is a nice uh, spring cleaning chance. <laughs> it's It does come quite erratically sometimes and uh, sometimes, I'm pretty sure I cleaned this particular cupboard about nine o'clock at night. Uh, which probably isn't the best time to undertake uh, some sort of large organising project. But hey, it was organised for a little while and now it's not that clean because definitely not in pregnant nesting mode anymore. Uh, so for this one, I used a really large label to cover up part of the photo that I didn't need. And uh, labels are really great for that because you can just cover up people in the background of your photos or if you've got some sort of kind of an insulting color in your photo you know how sometimes when you take a picture and you are really happy with the subject of your photo but there's just something in the background that is so glaringly colorful or the opposite um, color of what the rest of your photo is that it just takes over of where your eye goes when you look at it Labels are a great way to cover that up. I also really like this left-hand card. I can't remember where it's from. It's just one that I've got mixed up in my stash. And it actually has the label printed on it, which I really enjoy as well. Uh, I'm, I am a sucker for 
I'm a sucker for just collecting journaling cards really, but I'm also a sucker for any that have a built-in label uh, or journaling spot, even like this one down here. Now this next card, I didn't know where it was going to go, but it ended up my favorite card of the whole page and it just kind of fell together. So the first thing I did was I stuck that very cool uh, puffy sticker because I felt like the escape room was very cool. And then I put this little book down here because the this particular escape room that we did uh, was in Sydney and it was Harry Potter based and it was so much fun. Uh, well, it wasn't the whole thing wasn't. Sorry, I should rephrase that. It was book based. So it was based in a library and you had to like pull books from bookshelves and there was things in them and that led you to this room. And uh, there was three different there, this particular escape room had four rooms. You had like the, you know, the lobby part that you went into and you had to figure out how to unlock the other three doors. And one was Sherlock Holmes themed. The other room was ooh, something to do with ships and like ye old ships, not, not cruise ships or something. Uh, and then the other one was Harry Pottery. And you'll see in the final group photo uh, some of the props that we used in the escape room. Uh, but I really loved how this card came together. It just, I don't know, it was a con. I really liked that half circle with the book. Uh, and it was just a fluke that it was the same color as this background card. And I just, I don't know, there's something about the little spattering of circles and the semicircle of the book. Um, are just really pleasing on the eye. So I love that one. So here is a picture of us. Uh, so this is my peeps. And at the time, my bestie was also pregnant. So it's nice to have us both um, together in that one photo because she does live about, oh, if I was to drive it, probably about 17 hours away. Uh, and so it's nice to, to get a photo together when we can. So you can see here, very flattering photo uh, riding the broomstick there. <laughs> uh, you got to do it for the photo, got to do it. And then everyone had a different prop. So I think some people had like trophies, that was another part, or a goblet uh, and all sorts of bits and pieces. So it was called Next Level Escape if you are a Sydney cider and you're looking for something fun to do. If you do do it, it is getting to the place is quite uh, sneaky like you have to go down an elevator and it looks a bit sus but it's not it's it's a really fun place to to go to and I added this little bit of labeling on the side I love to overlap them off the edge um, and I don't know I just really like the look of a, an overlapped label off the side and it's good too because sometimes you can chop them in half so you've got another label you're getting like two labels for the price of one. How many times am I going to say label in this video? Uh, it would be a good, <laughs> a good game to play. Uh, how many times I can fit it in. So these next pictures are just random photos of Archie for the week. And the way I printed them was just uh, in a collage and they were stuck together. And so I kept them together because they were just both two random fashion moments that Archie decided to do. Uh, he, I think he stole, are they Aaron's glasses or my glasses? We have very similar glasses, Aaron and I. Uh, and then he also decided that my Ugg boots would make the perfect um, shower accessory. So he was having a little stroll, a little catwalk. Uh, I love these little labels that are half like a tag or a tab. And I quite often uh, put a tiny word sticker over the tab flap I'm sure there's probably a proper name for that um, but it's nice to put a tiny word on the tab flap that's hard to say uh, and then some little tiny enamel dots sprinkly in here and there and everywhere I should also add uh, this video is coming up on a Monday so my new upload day is going to be Monday's Australian time uh, at 7 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. I talked about it in a recent Insta story, if you don't follow me over there. Um, but uh, it's just a bit easier to get the voiceover done uh, in time. So make sure to turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss out when I upload a video. I've had quite a few people tell me during the Inky June Marathon 
uh, that uh, they didn't see my video in their feed, even though they're subscribed to me. So it would be a good idea to turn on the notification because I know YouTube sometimes has a few glitches and, and things going on. This next card is a four by six and I didn't, I needed some space to fill the four by six and it is a little bit of a waste because I'm covering up that whole left hand side of the card, but it worked out for me and I could stick my photo over the top. Uh, this was a Snapchat that I sent to my friend who was also pregnant and, nest and nesting at the same time. And uh, so I wanted to talk about how we were um, sending each other our little like projects that we were doing irrationally around the house uh, and ignoring our normal like housework that we needed to do and instead sorting out cupboards that really no one sees and no one it doesn't have to be organized right then and there adding a few little enamel dots here and the label for this card was already in built uh, so that's something to look for if you're ever buying journaling cards and then this was a photo that I took on the way to the escape room. Just thought I'd snap a selfie. Uh, I actually bothered to do my hair properly <laughs> because this was when I was feeling uh, quite a bit of morning sickness. And to be honest with you, the hair had been in a in a frizzy mum bun, mum bun, uh, for probably the last ooh, at least four months, five months at this point. So I bothered to straighten my hair, so I thought I should probably snap a selfie while I looked okay <laughs> and not like a frazzled mess. Um, but the page is all done. You might notice my nail polish has changed. That's because I forgot to film the end of the jazz hand parts of this video. So this was filmed several weeks later when my nails are now suddenly turned from hot pink to red. Um, but there you go. I hope this gave you ideas for how to use labels. My favorite place to get them from are Ellie Studio and Citrus Twist. Or you can stamp your own, make your own, draw your own, uh, whatever you'd like. All right, peeps. I'll see you next Monday with another video on my Let's Get Inky channel. Hope you have a great week. Bye.